Our question for today is what is art? And that's a really hard question because art could be so many things. Could art be fashion or your shoes? Didn't someone design it? What about this? Take a look. What do you think that this is made out of? So if you guess that this is made out of broken umbrellas, then you are correct. We're gonna be using this idea of using something not for art to create art. We're gonna be using a little bit of trash. What I need you to do is make sure you have your sketchbook. If you didn't pick up a pencil already, go ahead and pick that up, please. And then inside your bin is a little cup. If you could please make sure that your pencil is sharpened today. Yep, yeah, you're gonna need to have a sharpened pencil. You just open it up. Remember there's little sharpeners inside. Hopefully there's two. And then you just sharpen it over the cup. And like always, you can throw away what's inside here or just leave it. It's up to you, but this is here so that you can sharpen your pencil anywhere in the room. Go ahead and sharpen your pencil and give us a thumbs up. All right, next we're going to go to page five. I'm going to see what you guys remember about your types of lines. Lines are not always drawn. They're things that you can see. And then today we're actually going to be printing them and using our muscles, take one image and move it to another. It'll make more sense once we start. Let's go ahead and start with the first two. We're gonna do two at a time. So this one says straight line. Why don't you go ahead and just draw yourself a bunch of straight lines, whatever's gonna help you remember. Straight lines are straight lines. You should know what those are, shouldn't be too crazy for you, but I'm just gonna fill it up with straight lines. Now horizontal, horizontal is anything that's like the land. It goes from left to right. It is not up and down. Horizontal, just draw one horizontal line. Once you have straight lines and horizontal lines, give us a thumbs up so we can move on. All right, vertical lines. Vertical lines only go up and down. So go ahead and draw yourself some eyes. Connect the top and bottom, however you want it described to you, but go ahead and make some vertical lines. All right, now diagonal lines. I always tell people to remember an X because a diagonal could go this way, it could go this way. So you could draw a bunch of X's, you could do a pattern of diagonal lines, or maybe you could do just mishmash crazy lines going from side to side. But go ahead and do some diagonal lines so that I know that you know what vertical and diagonal are. All right, curvy. We're gonna pretend that curvy is wavy like the hills. So curvy lines, they have a curve, just like a road has a curve sometimes. And this next one is going to be wavy like the ocean. So typically when someone says, oh, that's a wavy line, they might be talking about wavy like the hills, but they probably are thinking about wavy like ocean. All right, give us a thumbs up once you have wavy like the hills and wavy like the ocean. All right, this next one, thick line. So that is a thicker line. Something thin, like the one beneath it, it's just an itty bitty little line. I just redid the horizontal line. But thick, maybe you could turn the pencil on its side and make a very thick, crazy line. All right, go ahead and do one thick line and then one thin line. All right, loopy, think the shock wave or a roller coaster at Six Flags. How many loops? It's making me feel dizzy. And then dotted line, you could do big dots all the way across. You could just take your pencil and do little dots, but for whatever you wanna do, I just want you to do loopy and a dotted line. Give us a thumbs up when you have those two. Dash line, the fancy word for dash line is a broken line, but basically, it is a dash that is repeating. It's a little bit of a pattern all the way across. And even though it is broken, you can still imagine that this is a line. This one also looks like a street. The next one is zigzag. So think a triangle with no bottom that just keeps on going over and over and over. Give us a thumbs up once you have dashed and zigzag. All right, spiral, so think hurricane, think wind emoji. A spiral is like a circle that just keeps on going until you can't get any smaller. But go ahead and make sure you have zigzag and spiral. So varied, basically varied means your choice. So I'm going to think of the craziest line that I can think of. I'm gonna do a loop-de-loop -loop 
that turns into castle line, that turns into spirals, that turns into wavy like the hills, that turns into ocean. Go ahead and basically make up your own line. You can combine other ones, or maybe you already know a line type that I haven't put on here. Go ahead and put that in. Scribbly. All right, you ready to be babies again? Scribbly, how easy, crazy, OMG, ah, that is scribbly. Go ahead and do a scribbly line. So these are all different line types that you can use today. I'm gonna to be passing out a tool that you can use to make prints on page six. So go ahead, if you have everything, go ahead and turn to page six. This is where you're going to be working. First, we're gonna get our foam and then I'll show you what to do with the paper. Be very careful with this. If this breaks, I can't give you another one. On one side with your pencil, and you may need to sharpen again, I just want you to write your name really small. So I'm just gonna write Boatfield and I'm gonna go very softly with the pencil. You're gonna see like, Mr. Boatfield, why am I writing it? Like it's not showing up, that's on purpose. I get it. You'll see why in a moment. But go ahead and write your name as softly as you can so that you can see it, but it didn't like go through the other side. Give us a thumbs up. All right, now you're going to either use your other page. I kind of know my line types already, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in. You're gonna think of as many as you can, and yes, you can make them up. So let me give you some examples. I'm gonna do a zigzag all the way across. This time I am pressing just a little bit harder. I am not pressing hard enough to stab the foam, but you can feel those lines. You can even see some of the graphic from the pencil that came off. I'm going to give you guys four minutes to create your own pattern of lines. So you're going from one side to the other and creating a pattern of lines all the way across on the other side that does not have your name on it. You get to choose what lines you would like. Don't forget to go back in and add more details. You should not be done in four minutes. Now I'm going to give you three minutes to add some color to it. You want to use as much ink as you can using the markers. more time you spend coloring, the more you're probably going to like it. So on this page, and see how I have it horizontally, nice and wide, I'm gonna take it on one side, pull it over, be careful, your hands will get so covered in marker if you touch this, you don't wanna touch it. That wet marker is going down on the page. Once you push it down, you don't want it to move, you're going to give it a nice massage. So I take kind of like two fingers on it, and then my other hand, I'm just gently pressing, going in circle. All right, so here's what it is. You gotta put hard pressure this time. Eh, a little bit. So what that tells me is I need to go back and add a little bit more color. Now you can mix it up for your second one or third one if you wanna do more. All right, I'm gonna take my print, turn it over, and then press as hard as you can. So I'm almost taking my knuckles, I'm really pushing the print into the paper. There we go, so there's my print. See some of those little designs. You can go back in, go over it and kind of fill it in if you want. If you wanna do it again with different colors, you can take a paper towel and just kind of give it a little bit of a cleaning. It's not gonna be perfect because it's foam. And you can go over it with a couple more colors. Once you have two prints, two attempts at prints, you are all done for today. You can try out a different activity. You could, of course, free draw in your sketchbook. You can take your piece of foam and just leave it inside of your sketchbook for now. We have our dry erase boards. You could take a dry erase marker, one board, and this paper towel, that's your eraser. We have origami paper, if you know how to fold origami. If you just want some colorful paper to create something with, we have scrap paper. We have shape puzzles, texture plates, if you would like to take one and use it. These are connector cubes and these are blocks. If you're gonna use these, use these on the carpet so that when they fall down, they're not making a huge mess and sound. At the end of today, we are going to tape our foam inside of our sketchbook so we can keep it forever. Have a good one. All right. I'm going to come by and give every person a little piece of tape. All I want you to do is just tape your piece of foam to page six so that we will have it in case we need to use it again. Or when you take this home, you can like, or when we take our sketchbooks home, you can go home and use your markers and create some prints at home. 
All right, once you've done that, you can close your sketchbook, follow the green arrows, follow the green arrows, and put it on the back counter. It is almost time for us to go. Make sure your table's clean. Have a great day.